This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course, where it's Lesson 17, and Course D, where it's Lesson 14. If else, with B, Puzzle 7. All right, what do we got? Now I just want to make honey. Okay. Some of these clouds might have honeycombs under them. Be sure to check if a honeycomb is hiding behind each cloud. If there is honeycomb, the bee will only need to make honey once. Okay. Cool. So I can tell we need to check under the clouds. Huh. And we're going to want to move forward. Okay. So I'm going to want to move forward and then move forward again. And I'll be at the cloud. And now if honeycomb, right? Yep. So I'm asking the computer once I'm at the, over this cloud, hey, is, is it honeycomb? If honeycomb, well, I need to make honey. All right. Let's just see if this works so far, right? It's not right, but. Okay. Make sure you don't leave any nectar behind. Oh, I left stuff here. Okay. So now I'm going to need to turn to the left. And then I would move forward and move forward. And now I want to check if there's honeycomb over here. And if there's honeycomb, what would I want to do? Well, I'd want to make honey. And hopefully you're yelling at your computer, stop, because, but ah, this, move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward, checking if, make honeycomb. All right, is exactly the same. So you want to do a loop. And you can even include the turn left in your loop because it doesn't matter if at this very end here, once we get this, if there's honey, we turn left. So when do we want to do it? Uh, move forward, move forward. Now let's just give it a number because we're going to repeat it. Well, one side, two side, twice. Let's give this a shot. But, uh, awesome. Let's keep going.